Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will study about double-ended queue. In short, it is pronounced as DAC. Let us first recall what simple queue is. A simple queue works on first in first out principle. In simple queue, we can insert and delete. We can insert at rear end, rear end, but delete at front end. But in double-ended queue. Insertion and deletion can be performed at both the ends. You can insert or delete at front end. Similarly, you can insert or delete at rear end. Now see the figure. If you want to insert at front end, you have to decrement the front variable and then insert the element at this location. You can use common sense there is no space on the right side of front variable if you want to insert you should uh, decrement the front variable and then insert similarly if you want to delete at front end you have to just increment the front variable or you uh, it is a good practice to store first this 11 in a temporary variable so that you can return or print which value is actually deleted now look at the rear end. If you want to insert the very insert an element at rear end, you should uh, move the rear variable to the right side, or I can say you should increment the rear variable and then insert an element. And if you want to delete, you have increment. Now look at this example. In this example. If I want to insert at rear end, for example, uh, insert rear 20. Uh, in that case, just increment the rear variable to the right and insert at rear uh, at, at this location. In next example, if you want to delete at a, an element at rear location or rear end, just decrement the rear variable. In next example, if you want to insert 21 at front end, you have to first decrement the front variable and then insert 21 as you can see here. In next example, if you want to delete at front end, just increment the front variable to the right and before incrementing the front variable, store this 11 in some temporary variable so that you can uh, print it or uh, return uh, that which element is actually deleted. Now there are some special cases which exist in a double double ended queue which we have to handle. For example, if the double ended queue is previously empty, that is front and rear are, are a, uh, front the value of front and rear is minus 1 in that case either you call insert at rear or insert at front same operation will be performed that is front and rear both will be set to index 0 and we will insert 28 this location that is at index 0 like First insertion is a an special case. Similarly, last element deletion is also a special case which we have to handle. Last element is detected or uh, when front and rear are at same index. This means there is only one element left. And if you are going to delete this element, you have to reset the value of front and rear to the minus one. Either you can call delete front or delete rear, same perform, same operation will be performed in this case. That is, front and rear will be set to minus 1. Now look at this example. If front is at index 0 and you have to, uh, and we asked you to insert at front. You know that if you want to insert at front end, you have to decrement the front variable, but you cannot decrement front variable to the left. 
is there is no space on the left side this so you cannot insert in this case if you are using a sim the concept of simple queue if you are using the concept of circular queue you can insert by uh, moving this front variable in a circular fashion to the last index but in this example i am not using uh, the concept of circular queue therefore we cannot insert here instead you can insert at rear end in this if this case exists just increment the rear variable and insert 6 or which element you want to insert similarly if the rear variable is at last index that is max minus 1 here max value is 10 actually uh, in this case if i ask you to insert at rear for example uh, I want to perform the operation insert rear 6 you cannot insert rear because to insert at rear end you have to increment it you have to move it to the right but there is no space to the right and we are not using uh, the circular queue concept here if you are using the circular queue concept rear will move in a circular fashion but I am not using the concept of circular queue therefore we cannot insert at rear instead you can insert at front insert at front means uh, decrement front variable and insert 6 at this location as you can see in figure i hope you understand the basic concept of double ended queue thank you